could you talk about sort of the well, a couple of things first of all borax and then like um and i guess with regards to uh, just general supplements but yeah borax in particular and then um also urine therapy like um how to do it and why kind of thing <laughs> just for the yep. layman yeah for sure so uh borax is the supplemental form of boron and boron's like a uh it's it's just one of those elements that's lacking a ton in um in modern soil it's been stripped so it's quite difficult to get it in the diet um there are there are a number of ways in which that's this is what's where the fear comes from when people say the soils are so deficient in magnesium the soils are so deficient in boron the soil, mm. soils are so deficient and it's true but the difference between now and what we had before is that we actually have a lot greater access to very, very nutrient dense food. So what that means is that we could eat liver every day of the week if we wanted. Mm. Yeah, we really could. There's, there's, we're in that plentiful supply and, and our supply chains are so robust that we could do that. That's not something we could do back in the day when soils were more nutritious, more nutrient dense. So yeah, I just, there's an element to that that I think people need to realize that there is a huge layer of fear that's smothered all over everything by making us think that everything is so deficient that the only way we can possibly live a normal life is through supplements. And um, I haven't found that to be the case in reality. I see people having good successes with things like borax, with things like uh, transdermal magnesium chloride oil when they're deficient in magnesium, you know, their cramps will go away and other ailments will go away. So yeah, it definitely has a result, but those people also aren't eating what I would call an exemplary diet. Yeah. So um, I don't know anybody that lives, uh, that has a very, very high quality nutrient dense, mostly raw, very well balanced through plant and animal foods, whole food and organic <laughs> diet who, who need supplements. None of them do. I don't know anybody that's using a mineral supplement of any kind or uh, any kind of supplement who's on that kind of diet. Hmm. Uh, because it's also not the kind of diet that was actually available to us in the past as much as it is today. Uh, having said that, is borax useful? Yeah, it is. So it's something that should be used in you know, small quantities, obviously. Uh, it's not something that should be like taken a, a whole lot of. It's really just a pinch in, uh, in a, you know, a liter of water or even you can even put it in food but yeah mostly it's safe mostly it's good so before i answer the other question did you have some some kind of experience with borax that you want to share or is that uh, why you're no, no no actually um so i heard your interview with Owen benjamin and afterwards he said oh i forgot to ask him about borax so i thought i'll just um ask you there yeah because and well i sort of wanted to ask you about supplements in general i thought that would be a good way to because like like you said um, if you're getting all the nutrients and everything from your diet, then you don't need supplementation. They're also, it's not, okay, so that's a good question actually because supplements aren't the same thing as the real thing. They're just mm. completely separate. So first of all, with soil, you can regenerate your own soil. Once you get enough like chickens pooping in it and you get like you you uh, tend it properly, the, you get the pH right, you might need to put some extra stuff in it like lime mm. or something to, to get the pH in the the alkalinity right and everything else. And, but over time that will regenerate into something that has a full spectrum of the minerals and the elements that we really need. Mm. So supplements though, if you've got borax, it's uh, is it as good as boron that's naturally occurring? It's, it's not, it's like same as anything that's taken out of its natural constituents. It becomes not the same thing. It's called reductionism. Mm. Mm. It's like trying to take, you know, like your fingernail off of your body and trying to use the fingernail to explain your whole body. It's just not the same thing. And so when we use a singular mineral, for example, it's just not how nature works because you don't find magnesium or boron just by itself. It's, it's works in conjunction with and is bound with and by constituent counterparts, other minerals an ionic charge of some kind, an energetic that is in the soil or in the animal or in the plant. Hmm. It's just it's just not the same thing at all. So yeah, it's still useful. It is, but it doesn't replace the real thing. The only way you get the real thing is through the real thing, which is through food. And so, um, yeah. So I, I guess to 
shorten the, that answer is, yeah, it has value. Yes, you can take it. Yes, it'll it'll be better than not having it, but it doesn't replace having a full organic whole food natural diet, preferably eating a lot of that raw.